Who won the debate last night? Rick Santorum did, and therefore Mitt Romney did. <laughs> that may not make a lot of sense to non-politicians, but let me translate and have a nice lunch. Before the debate, the last poll showed Gingrich having passed Romney, going up to 33, Romney at 31 or 32, and Santorum all the way down at 9, and Ron Paul beneath him, and Perry, of course, dropped out. So it was setting up as a two-way race, Gingrich surging, Romney static, Gingrich would have won, and it would have become a two-way race. Then two things happened. One, of course, the interview by Newt's ex-wife, and that'll have an effect. I think Gingrich was very effective in dealing when King asked him the question about it, but still it's going to have an effect, particularly in South Carolina. But the other thing which Newt did not anticipate is that Rick Santorum won this debate. He was aggressive, he was strong, instead of just being technocratic and dealing with his statistics and issues, he instead really hit him with great punches and was really forceful. And that has to hurt Newt, because most of the votes that he's going to get are going to come from Gingrich. So if instead of Gingrich at 33 and Santorum at 9, say Gingrich drops to 22 and Santorum rises to 18, well, Romney still wins by 10 points. And if Mitt Romney wins South Carolina, he's got this nomination. He's going to win Florida because he has more money. And this, if Newt finishes eight or nine points behind and Santorum 15 points behind, they're not going to have any money. And in a small state like Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, money really doesn't matter. But in a big state like Florida, boy, does it matter. And Romney has already laid in a $3.5 million time buy for the nine days between South Carolina's primary and Florida's. That's a huge amount of money, and he'll probably pour in a couple of million more. So unless somebody comes out of South Carolina beating Romney, which means that Santorum and Gingrich, one has to, in effect, get out and the other has to soar, unless that happens, they won't attract money. Romney will have all the money, all the momentum, will win Florida. And then when that happens, the next primary is Nevada with a high Mormon population. Romney's going to win that. Uh, after that is Michigan, where his father was the governor and he, has, he won it last time. He's going to win Michigan again. And after three or four or five of these wins, it'll all be over. So I think that is the most likely scenario right now. Not because Romney won. He did a nice job last night. He became the capitalism candidate. He became the candidate of free enterprise, and he kind of occupied that space. And in a curious way, Newt Gingrich made it possible for him by his attacks on the Bain capital issue. Serious mistake by Newt, because it permitted Romney to be the free enterprise candidate. And with Perry out of the race, he even tried to be the sort of outsider candidate running against two congressmen and a former senator. Uh, but ultimately, the real problem for Newt is that Santorum ate his lunch, ate a whole piece of his vote share, maybe enough to pass Newt, maybe enough to be in second, not enough to win South Carolina, and he assured Romney the victory. So that's what I think is going to happen. We'll see, and we'll have a chat on Monday after the South Carolina primary results are in, and we'll see if this is going to happen. But it was a heck of a debate, and I thought Santorum did a great job. That man has a future in the Republican Party, but not as president right now. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on Monday. See you actually tomorrow on Saturday. We're going to have a history video, and the thing we're going to talk about is really neat. It's how the American military constantly adjusts, not just to the issues on the battlefield, not just to the technology of the enemy, but to the political realities in the United States, and fashions its military strategy and tactics to keep the war popular so it can wage it and win it. Be fascinating. Let's chat tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching.